Good afternoon. We're tucked away down the end of Eastern Road on the edge of Wivelsfield Green in a very old part of the village. As you can see, some of these old properties down here are very old. They're all old period properties. Um, but if you know Eastern Road, it's where the village hall is. And if you go to the very end of, of Eastern Road, you'll be pretty much where we are here. But this is a lovely spot. You're, you're in a semi-rural location down here. There's footpaths galore. I should have actually quickly pointed out, sorry. That footpath there cuts through up the, what is the western end of uh, Wivelsfield Village Green. And uh, there's footpaths everywhere. Literally you go up here, behind me where I've just come from. There's a footpath up there. That takes you up into the woods. So if you're a keen, uh, like to be out in the countryside or if you've got a dog and like to go for a walk, then this is a wonderful spot. Um, countryside is everywhere. You can walk to, to the village hall, uh, sorry, to the village school, the pub and everything. But what I'm about to show you is a property here in what's called Green Park Corner. It's a little part of the village that no one actually knows existed. And the property in question I was, I'm gonna show you and it's adjoining neighbor was actually sheltered housing at one point um, and is now a private resident. But this one's a bit interesting because my clients, they actually um, rented this property for two years and then bought it. So as you can see, these are all houses. Next door, these are all little bungalows and there's a few of those. And the one we're about to see is number 19, which is this one here. So a lovely little house. Now, interestingly, that room there with the brown cladding is actually part of your property. That's the study. That was the old warden's office. So it's a slightly unusual setup, but really quite nice. But come and have a look. So my clients, like I say, they rented it originally. Uh, they've owned it about four years. They've done a lot of work to it. And while we're here, because it's late in the day, I'm going to quickly show you outside first. You've done a lot of landscaping in this garden. So all this new fencing, pathways, really nice with all the white stone around the lawn. This front garden is, uh, I think, 36 feet by 26 feet. Then I'll show you out the side gate quick. You've got parking, as you can see. Good point to mention. You've got an electric car charger point. The owners are happy to uh, leave. Over that hedge at the bottom, that is the bottom of village of the village green. And just here, you've got parking for three cars and you get an idea we're at the end of the cul-de-sac here. And then I'll quickly show you the back garden, which is also about 36 foot square. So you've got your own side gate. Again, they've done various works here. It's got a very handy greenhouse with a shed, useful little bike store. All been nicely done. Very handy workshop here as well. This has all been insulated. So the only, it's insulated. I think there's an amp in here to play music and so on, but just a really handy dry, dry workshop. And then interestingly, the owners have made this, they've, they've laid out the garden quite cleverly and strategically. Um, in that direction, you're facing east. So the sun rises that way and you're just looking back down the cul-de-sac. So no one directly behind. And this corner here is taking all advantage of that evening sun. So the sun sets in the west there. So this spot here is the sun trap. So you pretty much get sun all around, all day around. That is south over there. So a nice cheerful spot. I would take you in the back door. The owners actually were thinking of actually extending the house across the rear. This little glazed lean-to, very useful bit of space. They were going to flatten that and make all the kitchen a bit bigger, but they've actually found a bigger house that they want to move to with their two young boys. So let's take you back inside. Now, for those of you who don't know, Wivelsfield has got probably one of the best primary schools in the area. We're in East Sussex here, so it's officially Lewis District Council, although a lot of people are living on the uh, um, east side of Burgess Hill and Haywards Heath are trying to sneak their children into Wivelsfield Primary School because it is so popular and parts of uh, Haywards Heath and, Wivelsfield, uh, and Burgess Hill are actually in Wivelsfield Parish. So, like I say, the owners have been here about four, uh, owned it for four years. They've done lots of internal work, so lots of decoration, replastering. This staircase has been redone with all these clever spindles, really nice twisted spindles. Underneath, I won't pull all of these out, but that's all pull out sliding shoe drawers and things. You've got a literally a pantry under the stairs there. This cupboard is quite deep. That could have been, that could have easily been a downstairs cloakroom. However, this is the downstairs cloakroom, which they've had refitted. It's a really nice tiling in here. And they've done lots of work. So all the internal doors, these are all new. So quite nice panel doors. And then this living room, I think is really lovely room. They put a wood burning stove in there. So those cozy days, even got the logs ready and these handy cabinets. Obviously new windows overlooking the front garden there. And then across the way, this is what was partly 
the um, like I say, the the warden's office. And I, I believe at one point there was a door straight through that wall into next door as well. So as you can see, very much being used as the study or bedroom for that cupboard is quite deep. So handy big storage cupboard there. And then out the back, got this fabulous big kitchen. This is what we all want these days, family size kitchen. So plenty of room for a table and chairs, huge fridge freezer, lots of room for all the appliances. And then while we're here, I'll just show you this. This glazed lean-to, it's only lightweight aluminium construction, but really very useful. When you've got two young boys like these people, I'm sure this is worth its weight in gold when it comes to just drying clothes and stuff in the summer. So nice aspects. Um, going back to the schools, obviously you've got Withleshill Primary School, there's uh, various little nursery groups in the school, but also the children go on to Chaley Secondary School, which is out in South Chaley. Uh, that's about three and a half, four miles away. That um, is, again, another very desirable secondary school, purely because there's only about 700, 750 children in it, so it's a small school. Right, up here on the landing, big area in cupboard, hatch to the loft space there. And the bathroom, this has all been revamped as well. Got the L-shaped bath with a shower above and a window for natural light. The back bedroom, we've actually just got the baby up. Sorry, the uh, mobile's on the move. So double wardrobe in here and then that's looking up the cul-de-sac. Gives you an idea of the aspects. I hope you don't mind me being so detailed in these videos, but we do try and give you a really good impression of what you're talking about before you even come here and don't waste anyone's time. Now, big bedroom here, that is a large bed. That's a king, a super king uh, bed or queen size bed. We're overlooking the front window. Again, these windows have been replaced. So where I started the video is over the other side of those uh, bungalows and a double wardrobe plus a single wardrobe in this one as well. And then next door, is the baby's room. All very useful with an overstairs cupboard there. Windows just covered over to a blackout blind for the baby at the moment. But there you go, that is number 19 Green Park Corner. So just to recap, it's a very versatile house. You've got the study stroke fourth bedroom downstairs. You've got the garden workshop. You've got plenty of parking. You're in a nice position. You can walk to the village school, walk to the village um, shop and the pub. You're only 3.6 miles from Hayward Heath Station and about 2.6 miles from Withlesfield Station. So it's a great place if you're a commuter as well and you've got some of the best schools in the area. I hope that's of interest. If you'd like to have a look, please contact Mansell McTaggart's Hayward Heath office. Thank you.